Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video is in partnership with Bank of America and we're gonna share a really quick tip with you that will hopefully help you out around the kitchen. Now I know most of you understand the importance of knife maintenance, but figuring out how to practically actually do it can be pretty tricky. So I'm just gonna share with you what I do and uh, hopefully that'll give you a decent starting point. Now I try to keep my knives as sharp as possible by quick monthly maintenance um, on a water stone or whetstone like I'm using here, which is basically just a soft, sandy type stone that absorbs water and it allows for pretty decent blade correction in the trouble spots without super intense grinding. Uh, some of the professional knife sharpening services can be kind of crazy and uh, I've seen some of my knives get ruined so I like to sharpen my own knives, uh, use a whetstone, and I feel like it's one of those easy, inexpensive, and unnoticed knife sharpening tips that a lot of folks don't know about. But with that said, if you want more kitchen tips like this, go to bankofamerica.com slash get cash back. And if you're looking for a simple way to earn cash back with no hoops to jump through, get the Bank of America card cash rewards card. Now what you all been waiting for, let's dive into the recipe. Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some insanely delicious tuna tacos that are packed full of flavor, super zesty, and just have a wonderful creamy finish to them. So let's get started. All right, so first up, you're gonna make the taco shell. Uh, so here I have some wonton wrappers that I'm just going to brush a little bit of canola oil right on top. Then I'm gonna drape them over this little taco uh, mold that I have. Uh, you can use pretty much anything in your kitchen that will mimic this shape or a taco shell shape. That of course is oven proof. Um, and then once you're done molding uh, the wonton wrappers over that taco mold, you're just gonna simply season the back of them with a little bit of chili pepper, uh, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, and a little bit of salt. Um, and then you're gonna bake these at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. All right, so once the wonton shells are done, you're gonna get some ice water, grab some green onions and some radishes, and you're gonna slice them up as thin as you can, and then you're gonna soak them in that ice water, and that's really just gonna crisp up the veggies um, and make them super crunchy for uh, a really beautiful topping for your tacos. All right, so next is the tuna, and you wanna grab some pretty good quality ahi tuna from your butcher. Just make sure you ask them plenty of questions uh, because you're gonna be eating this pretty much raw. It's very important that you get really good quality fresh fish. Uh, but once you do have your beautiful center cut piece of ahi, you're gonna slice it up, dice it, and then you're gonna mince it for about a minute or so just until it gets really, really tender. Um, and then you're gonna mix all the spices and goodies in there. Once the tuna is minced, you're gonna put it into a mixing bowl and then you're gonna add some sesame oil to it along with a little bit of mirin, some chopped up cilantro, scallions, and serrano pepper, some kosher salt, zest of a lime, and then some lime juice. And then you're just gonna give this a good mix until everything is good and well incorporated. All right, so once everything is ready to go, you're just gonna start assembling your tuna tacos by basically just grabbing a little bit of that tuna mix, putting it into that uh, crispy seasoned wonton taco shell, and then you're just gonna top it with a little bit of sliced avocado, and then you're gonna make your crispy vegetable topping, uh, which is some of those sliced radishes and those sliced uh, green onion tops with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and lime juice. Give it a good toss, and then you're just gonna top each of these tuna tacos and of course you're gonna finish it off with some beautiful sour cream. Hey 
Hey, what's up guys? Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this tuna taco tutorial. It's super fun. I love the play on tacos. Um, I think this is such a cool dish um, that a lot of folks will kind of be taken aback by just because of the look of it. Uh, you're kind of expecting this, you know, meaty taco, maybe with some chicken or some shredded beef or, you know, everyone has that sort of a preconceived idea of what a taco is. So this is just a cool way to change things up and make the taco world a little bit more colorful and crunchy and delicious and raw and all that good stuff. So let me dig in. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys how I did, run through the flavors um, and all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, let me dive in. It's like bursting of it, squish it down. Mm. Oh wow. Really crunchy. I'm sure you can pick that up on the mic. The tuna is like bursting with that lime, a uh, spicy flavor. You have the serrano peppers, and you have the cilantro that gives it that really good herbaceous flavor. And of course, the lime zest and that lime just bursting with acidity, bursting with that zesty flavor. The avocado is that perfect balance of the fattiness with the acidity. And then of course, you have that really crispy, refreshing salad on top. Really pungent onion flavor. And the radish is really delicious. Just adds even more crunch to the overall crunchiness of this already very crunchy taco. So really good all around. Mm. Really delicious. I definitely recommend you guys trying it out. I feel like this is a super simple recipe. There's just a few ingredients uh, that you have to chop up and mix. And of course, making the taco shell. But really, other than that, it's just straightforward. Good ingredients, a little bit of knife skills, and uh, you know, probably takes like an hour just to put together. Very simple. Like I said, hopefully you guys try this out, share it with your friends and family. If you guys did enjoy this recipe, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe at the end of this video. Leave comments down below for future video requests, things you want to see on my channel. And of course, I'll see you guys next time with another really delicious recipe. Bye, guys.